Hey, good evening, everyone. Friday night, almost 10 o'clock at night. But anyway, look, uh, and YouTube folks, how you doing? Hey, tonight, I am making uh, an olive tapenade. Um, it's just a little spread, put on crackers, um, a sandwich as a spread. You can do whatever you want with it. Uh, welcome to Todd's Everyday Gourmet 1, by the way, you guys. Welcome. Okay, so anyway, I'm going kayaking tomorrow with my good friend Jerry Bryan, who's actually filming me on YouTube at the moment. Facebook crowd, how you doing? She's ringing the bell. She's That's her hi. Anyway, it is Friday night. We are having cocktails. Okay, ha cheers. Okay, so all of tapenade. Easiest thing to make on the planet. Um, this I can't take credit for this recipe. This recipe, I've been making it for years. Um... Good friend of mine, Paul Chartrand, shared this with me, oh, I'm going to say over 20 years ago. And I make it periodically for guests. This past summer, I've made it like three times. Everyone loves it. I made it for three gal, gal pals, Denise Ruby and Kimma. Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed the tapenade. Anyway, and loved our visit together. We had such a good time. Okay, so anyway, real quick, ingredients. You're going to need... Now, normally you can use Kalmata olives, uh, Greek olives, you know, whatever you want. I'm using, because all I had in the house was a jar of black olives and some green olives, okay? And I got a little bit of onion, I got a fresh clove of garlic, okay? Just some balsamic vinegar, some black pepper, some Italian seasoning, some salt, olive oil, onion powder, and garlic powder, two of my favorite spices. Okay, guys, real easy. I'm just going to throw my olives onto my cutting board. Start out with my black. And I'm just going to chop and chop until they're really fine. You could do this in a food processor, but I never do. I just do it by hand and chop. Okay? So, you guys, we're having a really good weekend this weekend, weather-wise. So, Jerry's down for the weekend. She's from Farmington. She moved away on me. She used to live across the street. So mad at her. But anyway, this is two years in the making. But she's she comes out all the time to visit. She's home. I said, welcome home, Jerry. Well, anyway, we're going kayaking tomorrow. It'll be our last time out for the season. And it's going to be beautiful. So I'm going to make this all of tapenade. We're going to take it out with some crackers and cheese and some pepperoni. Um, wonderful that way. And we're going to bring out some... Hot dogs, some brats, or some, some type of meat that we can put on a stick and cook over an open flame on a fire on the beach. Oh, can't wait. We can't wait. We are so excited. Aren't we, Jerry? We sure are. We are. We love it. We're pros, you know. We're pros at kayaking. But, you know, thank God for Jerry coming down. If it wasn't for her helping me, because I haven't physically felt well, you know, last time I didn't go kayaking at all. I mentioned this all the time. But she's going to help me. We're gonna, she's going to assist me to get in the water. We're going to be nice calm paddling. If you're working too hard kayaking, guess what? You're doing it wrong. Well, anyway, I'm just trying to build some, build some muscles back up in my eyes. We can't wait. We're so excited. Who knows? You'll probably see a live video tomorrow. So how you guys all doing out there in uh, YouTube land? I appreciate all you subscribers, all the hats and the likes and the shares. I'm really trying to build my YouTube audience up. The more videos I do, the more I'll, I'll get. But anyway, um, I need those likes and shares. Really. Please like, share, follow. I, I really appreciate it. Really, I do. Okay, as you can see, I'm kind of milking this jaw here. Let me get working on these olives. You want to chop them up. Look here. This is how you want them. More, just chop. Keep going. A whole can here. It takes a few minutes to, to chop up. You want them chopped up enough so they're so fine, almost. So it's kind of like a, you know, so you're spreading it on your cracker, you know, on your bread, on your sandwich. This makes a wonderful spread for a sandwich. You can do anything with olive tapenade. I like to, uh, I don't know why, but I like to take the blue corn chips and put a little bit of salsa and then some olive tapenade on the top of it. Oh, my God, so yummy. You can do, like I said, anything with it. And like I said, I'm just chopping and chopping. So this takes a few minutes doing it by hand. Like I said, if you do it in a food processor, which you can, you just have to be careful that you don't pulse them till they're like a paste. You don't want a paste. You want a little chunky, 
you know, almost saltery kind of, but a little finer than that. See? Black olives. See, I'm missing some here. I'll tell you what. Oh, my God. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> what are you guys telling you? Work out here. So, anyway. Oh, Denise the Point. Yeah. Oh, happy Friday to you, too, darling. Hey, I want to tell you. The half gallon of coffee, gonzo. But I loved every drip. Every drop, darling. Denise LaPlante is my forever friend. We'll go down in history together. Won't we, Denise? I love you, darling. Get your ass down here. I miss you already. And the girls, too. But you and Polly Pie can come down anytime you want. So, YouTube, as you know, I interact with Facebook live. That's the only way my Facebook crowd wants to see me. Live. So I can communicate with them. And I love every minute of it. Jonathan Beal. How you doing? Well, it is sore, John. Actually, I know. I'm usually quicker than this. I'm just, I'm just getting my chopping skills back. Slowly. But anyway, this is about where you want your olives to be. Look at this. See how these are chopped up? Oh, my God. That's one can of black olives. This is how you want it. A large or small can. Well, this is just a regular, like, soup can size, you know, of the olives. Good point, Jerry. Thanks for pointing that out from the peanut gallery over here. Okay, so these are just going to go into my bowl. Let me get my bench scraper. Got one right here. All right. This is going to make a nice size recipe. This And a little bit goes a long way. Look, I'm making a mess. It's all right. That's what you do when you're in the kitchen. Good cooks make a mess. If they didn't, their food wouldn't be good. That's what my grandmother always told me, everyone, you guys. I, and I believe what my grandmother says. Okay, so now I just got some um, Spanish green olives. Now, yeah, about 14 or 15. That's all you need. Calls for 10. The recipe calls for 10 olives, but I like to do a few extra. Because I like that salty and that brininess in it. Okay, I'm just going to do the same with these. Oh, baby. These babies are chopping out. I'll grab these black olives here. So olive tapenade, mm, to me, I don't know what type of dish it is. If it's Greek, Italian, or what. But it does have Italian seasoning in it. I call it both, Greek-Italian. A little mixture of both, you guys. That's how I think of it. So, anyway, take a break. <laughs> I can't help it. Dry, patched. Kristen Alley. Is the peanut gallery the camera per... Yes, that'd be Jerry, my kayaking buddy. <laughs> you know it, Kristen, darling. Yeah, there you hear. She's ringing. That's... Jerry from the peanut gallery. So anyway, Kristen, how you doing, darling? I miss you so much. And I haven't seen you forever. I hope your career is going good at the bank. How's the kiddos doing? Raffy's growing right up. Big old senior boy this year. All right. And Kyra, holy cow, she's growing right up. Little young lady right there in the making. Okay, guys. Here's your green olives. See, this is the, see how small. That's what you want. Exactly. The smaller you can get it, the better. See that? Okay. Now Jerry's had this. She's a fan of my tapenade. Or should I say, a Paul Chartrand's tapenade? Patch is right, past is right, John. You know it. All right. You know. All right. Okay, so these green olives, I'm adding right to my black olives. Okay? Get all that flavor. Yeah. I got a dog watching me. That ain't nothing. Okay. So, don't mind my mess. Get rid of that. Okay, so I got a fresh clove of garlic. 
They're growing up way too fast. I know. I agree with you, Chris. Katie Lynn, how you doing, darling? I hope everything's going well for you. In your life up in Bangor area where you're living. All right. So, combined black and green olives. Now, I'm just taking oh, just a very little bit of onion. I'm not going to chop up much. You don't want the onion to overpower this. And basically, you want just, look, see how much I got here? Just a few little sprigs. I'm just going to chop that up really fine. Maybe a little bit more than this. There we go. Yeah, because I do have a few extra olives, black and green. So I'll add a little extra onion. Like I said, the on, this onion's strong. It's a Spanish onion. A Spanish white. So it's going to add some good flavor. Chop her up good. I almost try to get it almost like a liquid. But, I mean, well, you know what I mean. Chop it up so small. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, chop, chop. You ever hear someone say chop, chop to you when they want you to hurry up? Oh, that bugs me. But anyway, that's kind of like cooking. Chop, chop. All right. So this is all you want. This little bit of onion will go a long way in this tuppenade. Trust me. Because you want your olives to be the main flavor in this dish. Well, in your spread. Okay, fresh garlic clove, guys. Here we go. Your peel. Hold on, get rid of that. And I'm putting the whole clove in. I just, I always trim the edges up. Well, you don't have to. Most chefs don't, but I do. And I slice down the side three times, the long way, and then I just chop, 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 as fine and as small as I can get this. This clove of garlic is fresh, and it's going to go a lot further. You want fresh garlic. That's appealing. Just chop, chop, chop at it till I can get it where I want it. Now, this will be so much better tomorrow because it's going to set overnight. These flavors are going to marry, blend. Oh, my God. You guys just wait. Wait to see this. And you can even eat it right after you make it. It's still delicious, but so much better. Okay, one whole clove of chopped garlic going in. Boom. Look at this mess. You got. Yeah. This mess. Let me get this just... Real quick, you guys. It's just, just embarrassing. But you know how it is when you cook in the kitchen, chopping. Okay, I don't even need this cutting board anymore. Got with a knife. On the floor it went. Okay, guys. Now, this is the best part. Let me get a mixing spoon. Okay. So, to this mixture, oh, excuse me. To this mixture, Kristen. Oh, oh, thank you so much, darling. Oh, can I teach you? Tell her, come on down. We'll do a video together, Kristen. We'd have a ball. All right. So to the olive mixture, you chop that black olives, one large can. One, you know, good-sized can of black olives, chop. 14, 15 green olives, chop. Oh, you're going to have probably about one clove of garlic chop. And the minced onion, I'd say, is about a teaspoon. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going in with some sea salt, Okay. And I'm just going to go in with probably not much. I'm going to say half a teaspoon. Not even. Maybe a quarter. There we go. You can always add salt if you need it. Don't forget, your green olives are very salty. Okay? So now, I'm going in with a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. This is the flavor. This is what you want in here. little Italian seasoning. About a teaspoon. Okay? Now, you're going to add a little bit of heat, so we're going to add some coarse black pepper. And I'm only going in, oh, half a teaspoon. Maybe three quarters. We'll see what dumps in. There we go. That's what you want for black pepper. Now, just shake the onion powder. I know I put some onions in here, but I'm an onion powder and a garlic powder freak, people, so... That's what I do. And I just sprinkle a few shakes in. Nothing major. Now, I'm going in with some granulated garlic powder. Just a few shakes to do, you guys. 
actually, this has the same, here we go. I've already got the fresh garlic in it, but this is just going to bring out that extra garlic in us. You don't need much. Okay. Guys, olive oil. E-V-V-O, extra virgin olive oil. Here we go. And I'm putting in about a tablespoon, two tablespoons. You don't want this dry, but you don't want it too liquidy. Okay. So I sat out with about uh, two tablespoons. Now, Regina balsamic vinegar. This is a key ingredient to your olive tepanine. And I'm only going in with about a, tea, a tablespoon. This is good flavor. Okay, so now, okay, we're gonna mix it up. And you just mix it up so. Look. See, look, the green olives mixing into the black olive and those spices. This. Now this, oh my God. you should smell what I'm smelling right now. Anyone that likes olives is going to love this olive tapenade. Thank you, Paul Chartrand, for this recipe. I love it so much. I've been making it for years ever since you shared it with me. Oh, share it, please. Yes, please, Kristen. I'll go live with it. Share, uh, Kristen's gonna, my niece is gonna share a recipe with you guys, and I'm gonna make it live. It's avocado based, that's all I'm gonna say. Well, that's all I really know right now. But anyway, look how pretty. Look at this. You see, can you guys see like the te the wetness? That's what you want. You don't want it liquidy, you want it just to be coated in your oil and your, your vinegar. Just enough wetness, kind of hold it together to be able to. Drop it on a cracker. You don't need a... I mean, this is so... Mm. Jerry, how's that smelling? Mm, wonderful. Yeah, you wait. She's she can be the lucky recipient sink her teeth into this tomorrow. I ain't gonna let her have it tight. Oh, hi from my... Now, are you guys together tonight? Should I come down after this video? <laughs> oh, my family. They're all hanging out together. And I'm missing out on it. Oh, well, that's all right. I'm having a blast right here. Okay. Hey, you guys. This... Sounds good, Kristen. I appreciate it, darling. Okay, you guys, look. There's your olive tapenade. Candy Bell, oh my God, you love olives. You're going to love this recipe. Send you right into all of heaven. Um, excellent. With, um, what we're going to have it on is like a wheat-type cracker, an all-whole-type grain cracker. Um, and I bought some mild cheddar cheese, and I bought some... Munster, so those two cheeses pair up really nice with the uh, olive top. And, oh, you, I do too, Kristen. I was with her last week, and Uncle Therm, we had a ball with the kids and everything. Well, anyway, so this olive top and I uh, will be great with that. I'll tell you what I like to do. Take a cracker, put a pe couple pieces of pepperoni, then your cheese, then your top and I. Oh, my God. Sends me right into orbit. <laughs> it really does. Well, anyway, so anyway... And another thing, again, as I mentioned, this makes a wonderful spread on any type of Italian type like sandwiches with, you know, like a, a capicola ham and a provolone cheese and some veggies. You can use it as a spread on your sandwiches. Oh my God, it's wonderful. And you also can use this as a topping on a baked chicken. You know, it'd be kind of like a caprese style chicken. You could use this with some nice olives and mozzarella cheese. It'd be wonderful. So anyway. Hey guys, real quick video tonight. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for all of you tuning in. I really appreciate it. Again, I don't know what we'll be making next, but I'm sure it'll be wonderful as always. Hey you guys, have a great night. Take care.